no, this is not a taxi. This is the new Mercedes-Benz B-Class. The previous generation is actually very popular with taxi drivers, at least in Warsaw, as Daimler invested in one of the taxi apps as part of its mobility solutions efforts, and it leases cars nobody else wants to taxi drivers. By the way, if you want credit towards your next My Taxi Ride, you can use my promo code, which is visible on the screen and in the description below. So what is the B-Class anyway? Car manufacturers are trying to convince us that compacts on steroids are in fact sporty. That's why Volkswagen Golf is called Sportsvan in its minivan version. Uh, BMW has the 2 Series Active Tourer and Mercedes-Benz claims the B-Class is in fact a sports tourer. The Mercedes-Benz B-Class debuted in 2005 and was based on the second generation A-Class. The main difference was in height, which resulted in more space inside. Even today, the A-Class and the B-Class have the same footprint, but the B-Class is 12 centimeters taller. A taller car is easier to get into, especially if you're older. And even if you're young, but every now and then you have to drive your parents or grandparents somewhere, they will appreciate that they do not have to climb up inside the car, like in an SUV, and they don't have to fall down into the car, like in case of a normal compact car. There is also more headroom, so even taller people than me, 175 centimeters, I am, so even people who are taller than me will find a comfortable driving position here and the extra centimeters in height also mean there is more boot space. So cars like Mercedes-Benz B-Class should sell like hotcakes, but I don't see many of them on the road, except of course for the taxis in Warsaw. And I saw one recently on the motorway driven by a couple of German pensioners with shawl slippers vibe. So what's wrong with this segment? Well, it's overshadowed by SUVs. An SUV says, oh, my Sportage is so crazy, never mind, I have a baby. And the B-Class says, kindergarten, supermarket, laundry. But you know what? If you have a healthy approach to life and you don't care if people judge you for the car you drive, you really should take a look at the B-Class, the Active Tourer or the sports fan. Why? The B-Class is based on the A-Class, so you get all the funky systems and you can even talk with the car about stuff which you didn't have an opportunity to talk about since you were young. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? What's the meaning of life? Well, try and be nice to people, avoid eating fatty foods and read a good book every now and then. Get some walking in and try and live together in peace and harmony with people of all races and nationalities. I couldn't agree more. The B-Class is comfortable, soundproofing is good, visibility is good, several hundred kilometers road trip and I felt okay. And the 200D version is also very economical. The 150 horsepower diesel seems to produce fuel. After driving for 100 kilometers at 90 kilometers per hour, my range jumped more than 100 kilometers. The revenue authorities should check whether this car has the license to make its own diesel. After a 7-hour, seven 700-kilometer seven road trip, I averaged below 6 liters per 100 kilometers, which is close to 40 US MPG and 47 Imperial MPG. By the way, the previous generation B-Class was also available with a fully electric drivetrain. And there was also an experimental hydrogen model. Mercedes assures it's not abandoning diesel cars just yet, as all the new engines meet the emission standards and are efficient as well. And if you want an electric Merc, the EQC SUV just debuted. The B-Class has all the latest driver aids. This test car, unfortunately, lacks the active cruise control and active lane assist. Instead, it has this irritating lane departure warning which breaks two wheels when you cross the solid line. It gets the driver's attention, that's for sure, but it also unsettles the passengers. So don't cross the solid line, 
yes, but the thing is the B class is actually quite good to drive and on twisty roads you want to cut corners. It's an A-class underneath. The steering is direct, albeit somewhat light. There's also an AMG styling pack, so I really don't feel like my life is over, at least not just yet. Mercedes-Benz B-class will also park itself parallel or perpendicular, turn the system on and the car will notify you about an available space. You may have to confirm the spot and possibly tell the car if you want it to park perpendicular front or rear. But that doesn't mean the B-Class is flawless. The 8-speed double-clutch transmission goes quickly through the first 3-4 gears when you start moving. I imagine this is supposed to achieve optimum engine load and lower emissions. Once the car is doing 30-40 km per hour, it's fine, but taking off vigorously is very unpleasant. You really need to slam the doors to make sure they close. They seem light, so maybe there is not enough kinetic energy or something. It's all the doors. Shut up, bird. It's all the doors, so it's not a matter of just adjusting one. These nice studio shots mean that I spend some time cleaning the car and touching its parts. In the B-Class, I notice the grill is made of very cheap, flimsy plastic. Oh, but there is more. The D pillars here in the boot are already scratched because of the parcel shelf being removed a few times. And one of the hinges is already broken. I'd understand if the car was 10 years old, not 10 weeks old. You'd expect Mercedes to figure out quality issues during the 125 years since Gottlieb Daimler invented the car. To be fair, I later found the missing U-shaped part loose in the boot. After reinstalling it, the hinge held the parcel shelf in place, but it was so tight, I expect sooner or later someone will inadvertently tear it out again. I'm not a fan of some of the materials used inside. There's a lot of piano black, so it attracts dust like hell. This cockpit was cleaned for the studio two days ago, and today... It's filthy. You probably need to have one of these anti-static cloths and wipe it down every day. Really. Ugh. Never mind the silver door handles. On a rainy day, they get ugly stains. With complaining out of the way, mostly, let's talk about MBUX, which is what the new Mercedes-Benz infotainment system is called. It debuted in the A-Class. The cool thing is the system is very configurable. You can program a set of settings depending on your mood, the time of day or destination. For example, you can have different settings on the way to work and different for a weekend trip. You can adjust everything from ambient lighting through drive mode and dial styles to music. With time, the system also learns the driver's habits and can suggest it's time to call your mother because you always call her on Thursday at 5 p.m. Most of the settings can be adjusted using voice commands. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Change ambient light settings to red. Okay, I'm changing the color. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Set the driver temperature to 25 degrees. 25 degrees on the driver's side. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Navigate to Oxford. I am starting route guidance to St Giles, 62 Oxford. Hey Mercedes. How can I help you? Tell me a joke. Sorry, I'm too busy looking at the road. There's plenty of adjustment in the seat. Now this is going to take a while. Up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we go. There we go. And in the steering column as well. So I guess just about anyone can find a comfortable driving position. The door pockets are large, so large in fact, I could stack probably three of these half a liter bottles in there. 
or just one and some other stuff. Uh, there are a couple of cup holders here in the front and the glove box is average size. So is storage under the armrest. It's not the biggest round I've seen, but it's big enough. Now there are two USB-C ports here, two out of five in this entire car. Now the third one is down here next to the induction charger. We'll get to that in a moment. USB-C ports. In its A-class, this is the B-class based on the A-class, so the A-class which was launched in 2018, Mercedes decided to drop USB-A in favor of USB-C. And it's great to future-proof the car, but for now you probably need five of these adapters. Now back to the induction charger which lives down here. If you have a phone which charges wirelessly then you're fine unless of course you want to plug your phone in to use Android Auto. Then you have to plug in your cable and then you have to plug in your phone somehow like so and then and then it's a total mess. In the back, there is plenty of space for two adults and their USB-C to USB-A adapters. Unfortunately, there is a big tunnel running through the middle as the B-Class can be had with all-wheel drive. Backrests split 40-20-40, making it easy to transport longer items. There is also an armrest with two over-engineered and underwhelming cup holders, which require two hands to put something in them. Mercedes-Benz B-Class W247 is longer, wider and has longer wheelbase than the model it replaces, but the boot is 33 liters smaller in 5-seat configuration. At least until you get the sliding rear bench, which expands boot space from 455 to 705 liters. Fold the backrests and you get 1100 liters, which is 35 more than in the previous generation. There are two shopping bag hooks, a double floor, an elastic band, two netted alcoves. You can open and close the boot by gesture or using one of the two buttons on the tailgate, one of which also locks the car. Mercedes-Benz B-Class is available with petrol and diesel engines with displacement ranging from 1.3 to 2 liters and power from 95 to 224 horsepower. Front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The less powerful engine versions get 6-speed manual or 7-speed DCT, while the more powerful motors come with 7 or 8-speed double-clutch transmissions. Prices start at €28,000. This test car is a 150-horsepower 2-liter diesel with front-wheel drive and 8-speed DCT. With options, it costs more than €50,000. I like the general idea of compact minivans. They are practical, economical, comfortable and they can make your life easier. I just wish Mercedes improved the quality of certain elements because for 50 grand I'd at least like a solid grill. And what do you think about the Mercedes-Benz B-Class and other mini sport tours? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't, like and share this video with your friends who might be looking for a new car. Join me for new reviews every Friday. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Shut up, bird.